So the way you start tubing is they'll drive you to the point where you stop. You leave your car there, then you get in their van, they drive you to the start point. You get on the tubes and you start floating down the river for the next two hours or so. This is our Outdoor Journal. Yeah! You can move yourself a couple of ways. You can get out and pull the tube, which isn't as much fun. Or you can actually lean out of the tube and paddle with your hands. It's quite easy, you just, like that. You can kind of rock the tube as well, which doesn't really, it's not as targeted, but it's fun. And you can kick with your feet, just lean your feet out and kick. And that's like a motor pushing you along. And then you can just lie there too. And then get pulled by the current is the nicest option, I think, because it's the most relaxing. Just drift and relax and float, or you can like paddle your boat around, get out and swim in deep spots. You can walk around in shallow spots. The scenery is very green. You don't really see any houses. There are a couple, but you can easily ignore them. There are some neat little waterfall-y bits that you can go over and it's like maybe half a foot tall. That's fun. The water wasn't that deep today. We were tying ourselves together and that's fun because then you can stay together, although you're more likely to hit a rock. When you're going faster, you don't really do as much. Like, you don't stop and swim. The tubes are hard to get in when it's deep. The handles on the tubes are sometimes like this, and you're floating. So you have to pull yourself onto the tube, and it normally just flips right over, unless you have someone holding the back of the tube. When it's shallow, though, you can actually just get right in the tube like you would a chair. It's really shallow. Like that much. You don't, you can also just sit down. I would say try tubing because it's fun and relaxing, but also you can enjoy the scenery. 